Hello everyone, it's Benicia, your community outreach specialist, and today I am bringing you another special video. I say that every day, but I am going to be talking to two members for code enforcement. And sorry, in the background, I'm just in the parking lot today outside of my office, it's what I do guys. But we're gonna be talking about what code enforcement is. Um, yeah, and literally just dive into that because uh, I actually really don't quite know. They write a lot of citations. That's what I have for you, but I'm gonna get you some proper information and not get hit. All right. <laughs> So guys, we're gonna talk about code enforcement. So I have Corporals Ojeda, Celeste with me, and they're gonna dive in and give us the nitty gritty and apologize in advance for their sunglasses. Sorry. It's bright outside, guys. It's sunny it day. is bright. It's but clouds. sun exactly they're really no. it's actually a really nice day, but it's cold. So there's that. Okay, guys, Sorry. say hey. It's like 70 outside. <laughs> it's like 65. <laughs> it's like 65 degrees. Okay. What's code enforcement? Let's just start there. So the sheriff's office uh, mm -hmm. has three corporals, me, Pedro, and uh, Chris Crawford. Mm -hmm. uh, he Wait, I need you guys to come closer. Like, I can't, there we go. He's not able there, to be with us today. There we go, okay. <laughs> so uh, we deal with uh, not so much complaints, but mm -hmm. we deal with uh, problem properties and uh, problem uh, drug houses and... Uh, problem meaning messy, just for like lack of, be like, so nuisance. our people, okay, okay. Okay. A lot of our nuisance and drug houses have many violations, so we'll go and uh, if they want to be a nuisance in the community, we're going to make sure that they have the cleanest uh, properties in the community. Okay. Okay. That's cool. I know you guys write a lot of citations. What else do you do besides write citations? Uh, we assist in the Human Trafficking Task Force okay. in the county, so we uh, do the inspections at uh, massage parlors, mm -hmm. strip clubs, and uh, some other types of businesses. So basically just to Usually ensure that... Okay, so just to make sure that there's... How do you say that? Yeah, yeah. Sexually what? Sexually oriented. Oriented. Uh, oriented. oriented. There you go. Don't. Oriented. We, you guys know me, like, me and my English on these videos. Guys, it's okay for... <laughs> what, what was in your coffee this morning? My goodness. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, um, so basically you monitor massage parlors to make sure there is no sex trafficking going on in the businesses, yes. Uh, we do inspections, we interview people, and uh, we see if we can, uh, sometimes we'll have a translator come with us. And okay. And we try to make sure that they're working uh, for themselves, they're not being forced to okay, work. Okay, I gotcha. Forced labor. Okay, okay. What else do you guys do? I know that there was a list of things that you guys do. So we also manage uh, trespass agreements in the county with uh, vacant properties, so, or uh, what, what is developed that properties, so. Uh, for example, if uh, Home Depot has a trespass agreement with us and people mm -hmm. are uh, in the parking lot at 3 in the morning up to no good, that gives us the authority to uh, okay. kick them off. Okay, okay, cool, cool, okay. So we manage that for the entire west side of the county. Okay, just for the west side. Okay, and you said that there's three. Crawford does the east side. Okay, by himself? He doesn't have a partner either? We have more uh, issues with that on the west side. Oh, okay, okay, I gotcha. What else? I mean, how do you join code enforcement? Do you do you apply for it? Is it like a unit like that? Mm -hmm. Like you it's a specialty a, unit. Okay. Uh, February will be three years that I've been working with this guy. Oh, oh that's an anniversary. What are, how are you guys gonna celebrate? Are you guys gonna have like a work, like a, all right, we got off work on time. We're gonna just, no? Uh, you guys, okay. Did you gonna, celebrate year two? We you might go to like no. Chick-fil-A oh, or something. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, We're gonna splurge. splurge. Gonna have some, uh, Large fries and uh, Carabas, I don't even. Carabas. Carabas. Yeah, there I don't we so. go. The fancy stuff. Okay. Good lighting. Yeah, right? Nice lighting. Stop! It's great lighting for. <laughs> In front of a jail. Yeah. It's the old jail. <laughs> you guys, if jail? you watched and paid attention to the videos, guys, you know that this is no longer yeah. the jail, but it's been repurposed as the admin building. I worked here once. Did you? Yeah. Huh? Wait, I don't even remember how long this has been here. Like nine. I think it was eighty-one. Years? Was built okay. In Very cool. Just another fun fact for you guys. But is there anything else that you guys so want to add? Like Ten years old. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Just the shape. You can tell that they worked together for a long time. But there are some facts about code enforcement for you guys. If you didn't know, um, if you have any other questions about code enforcement, let me know. Put them in the description. I'll do my best to get an answer for you. But yeah, shout out to these guys because they see some stuff on the regular. 
yeah, you guys. Uh, so the complaints are handled by county, mm -hmm. but when they need help, then they they call us. So oh, most okay. of the time, if there's a code enforcement complaint, you actually call the county, not the sheriff's office. Okay. And uh, and if it becomes a sheriff's office issue, then that's when we will uh, we will get involved. Go into action. We're going to I'm one <laughs> now, actually. Oh oh yeah okay yeah, there because I'm holding them up. But all right, thanks for giving us a couple of minutes to talk to us about code enforcement. If you haven't liked the video, go ahead and do so. Comment below if you have anything. Subscribe if you're feeling froggy. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>